Okay, so welcome everyone to this session uh, on, uh, on uh, I guess, roughly on learning, uh, what, what I, I would say. Uh, so um, uh, uh, let me just uh, quickly introduce the, the, the talks uh, in the session. So um, um, first of all, there's a, you know, um, uh, I'll, I'll go in, in, a, in a random order in terms of introducing the talks. Um, so, um, so there are two talks which have, which have to, you know, in general these, these talks have to do with learning, but also with, some of them have to do with new models and some of them with uh, elaborations of interesting existing models. So two of the talks have to do with, uh, with some variant of, of uh, you know, this very nice uh, problem called the planted clique kind of problem. So the first one is um, is actually a co-winner of the of the uh, of the best student paper award by Aviel Rubenstein on detecting communities is hard. Where um, you know there was a there was a paper by uh, Aurora et al. which showed that if if you have a graph with uh, you know with a high density subgraph, you can find it in, into the log n time. And what uh, Aviel uh, shows is that in fact. Uh, um, in fact, into the log n, there's an into the log n lower bound and there's an ETH. So it's, um, um, there's, there's, a, there's a different paper which, um, uh, which is by, uh, uh, which is uh, by um, uh, Gilkers, uh, Lalonde, and, um, and uh, Masule, um, which, uh, which looks at uh, what's called the um, the stochastic block model, where, where again you have um, you have some sort of a planted type density density graph, but but now they consider it under much more natural condition uh, where where the where the degrees are varying and uh, ensure that uh, you can you can really very precisely analyze the situation. Um, now. <coughs> Now there are, there are two other uh, other other papers in this in this session which which I think introduce uh, rather interesting models. One is by uh, uh, um, by Kleinberg, Mudianathan, um, and uh, and uh, Uganda, which uh, where they, they consider this this really interesting idea that if you are given a set of choices, then often the the thing that you actually choose in practice doesn't you know. It, it's not. A, it's not necessarily depends, um, you know, on on your valuation of each of the choices individually, but in fact, it might depend upon which subset of choices you're actually given. So that might influence what you actually choose. And so they consider, you know, this kind, you know, studying this kind of a model formally. And um, what they actually show is that you can infer this this uh, this choice function by by watching the behavior. It seems like a rather interesting notion. Um, there's also a paper by uh, Brendan Juba, which uh, which uh, which considers a, a new model of um, uh, you know a new variant of sparse linear regression, where you actually have small subsets of data for which there are simple rules like KDNF, and and you want to you want to actually infer these sets under this. Under this joint model, uh, which you know again is a, is a very nice uh, uh, combination of combinatorial uh, considerations. And finally, there's the there's the first talk of the of the uh, of the session, which is by uh, um, Feldman and Ghazi, and it's it's on the power of learning from KY queries. So here, um, you know, the statistical query model is is sort of used a lot, and in, in that. You, you have single queries, um, but there was this very nice result of um, Lam Kalai and, and Wasserman, which, which sort of for, for the parity function considered what if you have k queries, and I think uh, Feldman will tell us about how to generalize this in a, in a 